So, what is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. I'm joined on the channel today by Kenji. I'm back. He's back, he's in my room this time, in the crib. In the Karma Medic, uh, the, what's it, Casa de, Casa de Karma. Casa de Karma Casa Medic. De karma. So today, I wanted to do a little bit more of a chill video, a little bit more of a conversational one. Um, oh, just talking about like, what is King's second year medical school like? Mm -hmm. Just give sort of our insight how the structure of the course works, well, what it is we do on a weekly basis. Yeah. So yeah, let's just let's just get into let's it. Let's chat, man. Let's just have a chat. Overall, in general. Yep. Um, I'd say second year has been super chill compared it's to first. Pretty chill. Year. Yeah. We've had so much more free time. So much more. Like free right time. now, it's, we're recording this on a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> we have nothing. We just had an exam yesterday. Yeah. We have nothing to do today, so we've been playing Xbox all day, uh -huh. and it feels pretty good. Like, feels, I'm not, I'm not feels really good. Yeah. Not not upset at all. Like yeah. both of us in our previous degree. Chilling oh, on a Tuesday would have been no chance. impossible. No chance. We were both like grinding, 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 working yeah. hard. Yeah, first year was a lot more like stressed out for me, I feel. Yeah. First same. year was like lectures so many times a week, mm -hmm. tutorials, dissections, everything. Oh my god. Yeah, last yeah. year at medical school, it was still easier than our undergrad degree. Yeah. I think sure. we both agree on that, but mm -hmm. it was still really, really packed. Yeah. Lectures yeah. every day, almost nine to five yeah. between lectures, workshops, mm -hmm. sections, tutorials, mm -hmm. whatever. It was yeah. hectic. And I did biomed, by the way, for my last degree. Uh -huh. So biomed in the University of Birmingham. Yeah. yeah, I did immunology, biotechnology, and microbiology mm -hmm. at the University of Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we both had like a very heavy life science background. Yeah. Should we start off by saying like an overview of what our week's like? A yeah. general, general overview. For my laptop's about to die. So grab me the cable real quick. Right, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Right. Can reach? Yeah, yeah. So, Kenji's gonna walk us through what a week is like for second year medical students at King's. Yep, so Monday is uh, lectures, so we normally have around four, five, six lectures, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's nine to five. It's usually on Guy's campus, uh, yes. but sometimes it can be on Denmark Hill campus, yeah. uh, it can be on St. Thomas's, St. Thomas's Hospital as well, mm -hmm. uh, but Mondays is generally just lectures. Yeah. Uh, Tuesdays we have hospitals or GP. So for me, I have hospitals on Tuesday. Same. You have hospitals as well? Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, it's dissection. No, not dissection. Anatomy. Anatomy, yeah. But it's not every week. It tends to be like every every other week or every three weeks. Even less. Like, we're supposed yeah. to have a bunch yeah. of dissection. We did all cataract dissection except for limbs last year. Yep. And so we were very excited to get started on limbs this year. But it's been yeah. very slow. We've yeah. had... um what's called surface anatomy. So we'll yeah. delve deeper into that later, but basically we haven't had dissection yet. No, yet. And yeah. it's like almost December, well, it's November, but yeah, yeah. anyway, yeah. first first half of the year is almost over. So I'm pretty sad about that. Yeah, me too, actually. I was really looking forward to that. A dissection Same. was sick this time. Dissection is the best. Yeah. Thursday, we're supposed to have a scholarly project, which yeah. will be starting in January. Yeah. So right now, Thursdays are mostly off, uh, which adds to yeah. how chill the, you know it is. Yeah. Uh, and then Fridays we have the other thing. So we have uh, hospitals on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and then Fridays is GP for us. Yeah. Um, and that the time really does vary. So for my GP, we start mm -hmm. at quarter past seven in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, which is really long because it means I have to get out of bed at like five a.m. Which is good though because it means we leave really early. So we get to leave mm -hmm. at like one thirty p.m. Yeah. So it does vary. Um, what is your GP like? So my GP, if you're sitting in with the GP and talking to patients, doing uh, taking histories, then you're in at eight in the morning. Okay. And if you're coming in sort of for the workshop after the history taking, then we come in for 11. Yep. And generally we're done by like 1.32. Mm -hmm. And then we usually leave to go do our home visits. Check out my video on that if you haven't seen it already. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it, it really varies. Yeah, and yeah. it varies with the GP that you have. Some mm -hmm. GPs want you there nine to five, like yeah. doing everything. Some of them just want you there for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of a gamble, really. Definitely. And I find them to be the most like tiring days. So yeah. hospital and GP for me like is a write off. Like mm -hmm. I go to hospital, go to the GP, and the rest of the day I just spend like having a nap, yeah. like a very long nap. Or just like, not, so tired. nothing productive. Yeah, I find it so hard to actually do work on yeah. those days, man. I wake up at 5.45 to mm -hmm. get to the hospital yep. for the 8 a.m. handover. Um, on the wards mm -hmm. so it really is like it takes a lot out of me to get up that early yeah and commuting yeah. as well because oh, some yeah. of us so I'm in uh, East London for mm -hmm. mine I'm in Greenwich for my yeah. GP uh, which is like maybe an hour away so yeah. which is it's not too bad Same. but you have to take into account it's commuting and that's an extra hour you know, yeah. out of bed early you need to get up early to make sure you're there on time because mm -hmm. if you're late that's not good yep yeah, so to wrap up GP, general practice, basically you go and generally you either do like a workshop where we go through what's been assigned for the GP learning that week, yep. um, or you sit in with patients and actually take patient histories, do medical histories and sort of practice those skills. Yeah. Um, so we were given like a portfolio this year mm. where we have to like tick let, off. Let yeah, grab, get it, get it. Grab my laptop. <laughs> so we were given a portfolio this year where we have to tick off some medical, some clinical skills. Uh, so for example, do you want to read out like what we have? Yeah. So we have a couple of clinical skills to do throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, and these can be done either in the hospital or in the GP. Yep. Um, for example, some of them include 
taking nose, throat, and skin swabs. Mm -hmm. There's some really basic ones like safe disposal of sharps. Yep. Also washing your hands properly. Believe it or not, that is a skill that a doctor needs to watch you do and yep. sign you off on. <laughs> um, there's advising patients on how to collect a midstream urine specimen, mm -hmm. instructing patients on how to use inhalers. Yep. Um, so these are all things that we need to get signed off by our GP or yeah. any doctor in hospital. As Nasha book. said, um, in the mornings we usually have um, the workshop learning session. So for example, like uh, we had smoking cessation. Yeah. We had uh, giving a flu vaccine. So they're just like topics that we discuss in the GP uh, with our GP tutor. Yeah. Um, and then once every four weeks for us, I don't know how often it's for you, but mm -hmm. once every four weeks for us, we sit in with our GP. Exactly. So we yeah. sit uh, side by side with the GP in the consult consultation with patients. And it's pretty fun because one of the, I think two weeks ago, I actually got to give a flu, flu vaccine. Yeah, you, you well, right? yeah, so we actually That's get cool. to, you know, interact with patients, uh, take histories, uh, you know, perform treatments, like giving flu vaccines. Yeah. And yeah, they're really, really fun. I learned so much. You know, you get to do some really real things as well. Yeah, I enjoy GP. Yeah, definitely. Amazing, yeah. On par with hospital. Definitely. Yeah, so hospitals is another thing. Mm -hmm. um, so... In the hospitals, we normally uh, go around like was it different different wards? Do you do that as well? Yeah, so you're human development, right? Yeah, I'm human development. Yeah, so we so we have like different types of uh, blocks, teaching blocks. Yeah. So there's human development this year. There's aging, inflammation, and supporting life. Perfect. And we all start off on different blocks. Yeah. So I started off with a uh, human development, same as you. Same. Uh, but some of our friends are on the different types of blocks. Mm -hmm. Um, and again, it varies a bit. So I normally go in for nine a.m. in the morning. To, to receive the handover and start the ward rounds. Mm -hmm. And then in my hospital, we go around the ward, we see all the patients uh, all, all the way up until like 11 a.m. I think it is. Yeah, something like that. And then 11 a.m. we have like an MDT meeting and then we get to go for lunch around half 12. Yeah. Um, and then in the afternoon at 2 p.m. we have uh, teaching sessions. Mm -hmm. So it could be anything from uh, venipuncture, puncture, so learning to take blood, oh, or so it just. could be, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really sick actually. Uh, or it could be, um, just something on the topic that we're learning. So yeah. human development, it could be actually. Wait, wait, I'm on uh, I'm on aging, not human development. <laughs> <laughs> I, in my head, I don't know why I went with it. Yeah, Sorry. I'm on aging. Damn. So we, yeah, I'm actually on human development, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in the afternoons, we have um, topics like dementia. Mm -hmm. So we learn about dementia or something relevant to um, aging. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really differs again from yeah. what hospital you're in, what ward you're on. So me and mm -hmm. Kenji are both in different hospitals yep. and we're doing different blocks. In uh, in Kings, we have three hospitals, so GKT. So Guy's, Kings, St. Thomas's, but we also have Lewisham as well. Lewisham, yeah. Um, so any of us can be placed in any one of these teaching hospitals mm -hmm. and the teaching varies between each hospital. Yeah. So for example, in our first week um, <coughs> at my hospital, we we're, were taught to take blood. Mm -hmm. um, you didn't receive that. No, yet. I didn't get that. Um, so the teaching does vary. So that's a huge point for coming into second year of medical mm -hmm. school each individual student's experience is going to be so different. Yeah. Um, like even in the hospital, when I'm assigned to a ward each week, I'm by myself. I'm not mm -hmm. with any other students. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I do that really? week is going to be totally different what, from what another student does in the yeah. same ward the next week. Mm -hmm. So teaching really varies. And that's kind of scary. Is, you yeah. have to like, yeah. you have to go out there by yourself and like introduce mm -hmm. yourself to people and say, Hey, like I want to learn. Let me follow you. Yeah. Like, let me yeah. see what you're up to. It's a very different ball game Definitely. than sitting in lectures and taking yeah. notes. And a lot of times you guide your own learning. So yeah. for example, um, I was in psychiatry for just one of these extracurricular things. Mm -hmm. And the doctor came up to me and was like, what do you want to do today? You know, you can do whatever you want. So I was like, actually, I'd never, I've never taken blood before from a patient. And she let me take blood from a patient, yeah. which, is, which is crazy. Um, so you do direct your own learning and you tell them what you want to, you know, what you want to get out of it. Yeah. And it's really nice being in hospital because the last time we were in hospitals, it was during our work experience. Yeah, and we could yeah. do nothing. We couldn't like talk to patients alone. We couldn't like touch the patient, whereas now we actually have responsibility and yeah. we have things to do, you know. And like this is the point where we're actually doing real medicine. Like yeah, this yeah. is what we wanted to do ever since we applied for mm -hmm. medicine. Definitely. And of course, both yeah. of us did an undergraduate degree as well. So yeah. you know, we've been we've been working towards this for a long time. Yeah. So it feels great to finally be here. So we've talked about GPs. We've talked about the hospital as well. Yeah. Another really big change for second year is the introduction mm -hmm. of progress tests. Oh yeah. yeah. So what progress tests are? You know what? Do you want to explain progress tests? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So <laughs> progress tests are basically tests that. Test your progress, really. Test your progress, yeah. <laughs> so um, in second year, we have uh, three progress tests. Mm -hmm. We had one yesterday. Uh, we have one in January. And we have one in May as well. Mm -hmm. um, and the one we had yesterday, we've only done about an eighth of the actual content. Yeah. Um, the one we sat yesterday was a year three exam. And even though we're in year two, they give us, um, yeah, you know, the year three, three exam. Content. And we're not expected to do amazing on the first ones, but it's supposed to show progress. Um, you know, the more, the more you learn, the more exams you do. Yeah. Um, and the one we sat today and the one in January, we're not, we don't have to pass. Yes. The one in May, we do have to pass to uh, move on to year three. There's a huge shift in like the topic 
content of the questions. Yeah. So last year, the questions would just ask about like some specific pathway and a mechanism mm. or very calling yeah. super science, super mm -hmm. basic science, mm -hmm. similar to high school, but harder, let's yeah. say. Yeah. Whereas now this progress test, every single question was along the yeah, lines of yeah. like a 55 year old patient comes in presenting with this much blood pressure, this much blood sugar, mm -hmm. these levels of potassium, you know, yeah. like, or what symptoms you, or yeah. symptoms, whatever, like what's your management plan? What's the initial thing you should do? Yeah. What medicine should you prescribe? Yeah. yeah. We haven't learned any of that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> this is all like brand oh new to us. Yeah. Um, so lots of guessing went on. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's expected. Yeah. So like Kenji mentioned before, we have a scholarly project to do for the first half of this year which is sort of like a super simple assignment learning about um, the methodologies of different research. Mm -hmm. And for the second half of the year, we have what's called a student selected component. Mm -hmm. So we actually had the deadline to choose which one we wanted about a week ago. Yep. And we get an option of something like 53, 54. There's a lot, yeah. There's yeah, a lot of yeah. options. And these range from like the arts and humanities to global health. Humanities, medical humanities. Social humanities, medical humanities. Um, clinical stuff as well, like yeah, surgical stuff. Things. Languages as well, so you can choose a language. Yeah. So this is quite a nice area uh, where you can just go into what you're interested in and it doesn't yeah. have to be medicine so it could be something completely different completely mm -hmm. random um but i chose uh, a clinical one so i chose a surgical one actually yeah i've also gone to something a bit clinical we're mm -hmm. waiting to hear back what our decision was we mm -hmm. got a decision earlier today but now oh we've God. received an email saying it might be incorrect so yeah so, <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what happens the cool thing about it is that some of them for example are like about making a video like you're assessed by making a video yeah or you're assessed yeah. by making a presentation for the community yeah you know yeah. so there's a lot more things than just pure scientific research pure mm -hmm. papers things like that yeah which is good because if you're like a creative person or an like arty sort of person mm -hmm. you can you know go into that area um, and do what you enjoy yeah you know, it's, it's not strictly medicine um so yeah i think that's really, really good there's one for photography as well yeah i was thinking about doing that one as well yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of stuff you can choose from. Mm, so yeah. That's something new in second year as well. So like we said before about lectures, it's only on Mondays now mm. and it's really less lectures. Everything is easier in that sense. Yeah. Workshops, we have almost none. The mm. only things we have now are surface anatomy, which is yeah. basically when one of us takes our shirts off in a class of like 14 people. Mm. Make, make sure you train in the gym for that. Yeah, yeah. make sure you're looking <laughs> buff and ready. And yeah, basically all the students get to like, we did it for the chest and the abdomen. So all the students get to touch you know, you as a patient and figure out where all the different landmarks are, like yeah. where the different internal organs and structures mm -hmm. are. Abdominal examinations as well. Yeah. Uh, Chest just everything exams. On, yeah, everything on the surface, really. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's kind of getting you used to seeing a patient mm -hmm. exposed um, and knowing where all the internal organs are that you've learned about when yeah. looking at a patient, because obviously mm -hmm. they're not open like they are in the anatomy textbooks. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a good experience, too. Mm -hmm. And it's super helpful as well. I think, like, practicing your first year knowledge of anatomy has yeah. been, it's been so good to just go over yeah. it one more time. Because I forgot a lot. Oh, I forgot all of it, man. Oh, my God, I forgot so, so much. Yeah, so it's a really helpful uh, opportunity just to, you know, recap all of the knowledge you learned in first year. Yeah, yeah. True. Before we uh, wrap it up, I talked about our social life. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely in second year, there is a lot more time to socialize, I think. Yeah, it's gone. Um, so obviously there's Guys Bar on Wednesday. So if you haven't heard about Guys Bar, go and hear about it. Um, but on Wednesdays, we have a sports night. Yeah. So even if you don't play a sport, you can just go and have fun with your friends. I think if you're at UCL or Imperial, as long as you're a student, you can come uh -huh. to Kings. So yeah, Wednesdays, uh, sports night, which we do go to sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, we play ping pong quite a lot now. Oh my <laughs> god. We have, we have a huge beef with ping pong. It's huge. We need to uh, definitely record another video. We do. I'm just, I'm just playing ping pong. If you guys are interested in a ping pong championship between me, Kenji, and, and some other people, let, let, let us know. Let us know. Yeah, we beef a lot about <laughs> ping pong. In between lectures or um, even like days off, like we go and play ping pong quite Any a lot. Any chance we get. So Any yesterday, so, oh, so we had the exam yesterday. <laughs> Uh, straight after the exam, like we had a drink at the local pub, yeah. and then went to my accommodation and played ping pong for like two hours. So there's a lot, of, there's a lot more time to just have fun, and you know, generally, I think. Yeah, yeah. We um, both go out like quite a bit more often, yeah, weekends definitely. and weekdays. Yeah, it we might change towards the end of the year. I mean, yeah, you know, That's January true. definitely will change. I think when I we think start so our too. projects on Thursday. Yeah, the probably students will change. components. But yeah, but as of now, like up until December, I think it was it's pretty chill. Pretty chilled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I'm sure okay. if we watch this video back when we're in fifth year, we'll be like, <laughs> "What are we on about?" Wish we had that much time. Yeah, for real. We're both still strong, passionate, and excited about medicine. Definitely, a yeah, lot more of, than ever. Yeah. More than ever. I think yeah, just just get through the doors first. I think for us too, it was so hard getting through the doors. <laughs> yeah. You know, open the doors, uh, get in, get into medicine, and then you'll have a lot more time to just enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm definitely catching up on you know what I missed out on my third year because I was spending I spent so much time so in third much year studying, yeah. trying to get into med school. But once you're in med school, you can kind of, you know, just steer the boat, you know, like you're on the boat, yeah. you made it onto the boat, just steer it now. You've made just, it. Yeah, just, you know, <laughs> you're there. and it's not like do or die anymore. As long as you pass exams and you work hard, you'll become a doctor. Yeah, you know? they really want you to pass. They want Definitely. to help you. They want to see you succeed. I put in the work now, like seriously, like yeah. work hard. I know it sucks. There's so much to do with applications yeah. and interviews oh, and whatever, yeah. but put in the work. It'll it's get easier. It. I promise. All worth it when you make it. Super worth it.
Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, do leave a like. Subscribe to both of our channels. Check us out on Instagram as well for more daily updates about medical school. Mm -hmm. And yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Yeah, peace. Nice.